Hi everyone, Lisa here. I wanted to share with you my week five and six of Project Life. Starting with week five here, I just have the little intro card. I'm thinking uh, it's okay the way it is, but maybe I'll write something more in here. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, because on the card down here, I actually wrote sort of what was going on, whereas probably on that intro card, that's the sort of thing I would want to write. Um, so I'll just start with this card first of all. It's just a little basic gray card that says currently and then what I'm reading, loving, listening to, watching, doing, and wishing for. And so I filled some of those in. I put some washi tape over some of the personal writing that I wrote there. Sorry to do that, but um, some of it uh, is just personal and I don't want it out there. But that's a fun little card to uh, fill out and just give some details, makes it easy. And I'll go back up here. I have just a cute little picture of my Spencer. Just sort of an everyday sort of thing. He likes to sit next to things. So I was coming home from Costco and brought uh, my paper towels in. And I turn around and there he is. He's sitting next to the paper towels. Kind of a silly little picture. But it's the, the real everyday type of things that make me smile. So I want to remember them. And then down over here, I'm continuing on with my recipes. I got a lot of cooking done this week. Um, I'm trying to do 52 recipes in the year. That would be one new recipe per week. And this week I got three of them done. So um, the other thing I like to do is rate them. So at the bottom you see here, I have a little star rating. And what that was, was I had mentioned it before, but in another video but it's just a rubber stamp that had ratings on it and I stamped it I scanned it actually off the uh, carrier sheet and then brought it into my Photoshop and added color to it to um, give it five stars or in this case four stars and this one only got two and a half stars so um, it's a nice record for me to remember what I am cooking and the recipes I liked and to try again and then over here, it's just another thing related to food. I don't know if any of you have Trader Joe's, but this was the Spotlight Cheese for January. And um, it was a really good, really excellent cheese. And so I wanted to remember what it was called because it was a special thing that they brought in. And I've been back and they haven't um, been able to get it again. But uh, I wanted to remember it. So I made a little button here you can see almost like a little flare button where it says TJ spotlight cheese because they put that on the out on the outside of the package but I used one of those uh, clear epoxy circles to put over top of it and then um, who knew I'd need a little embellishment like a little cheese stick so I just added that on here that just comes off of let me show you here this package I get these at Joann's they're um, from k and Company the life's little occasions and um, you can see it comes with some wine and cheese and olives and that sort of thing so anyway it was a good place to use the little cheese stick down over here I just recorded um, just th that I had been on this little online gathering at big picture scrapbooks they call their pajama party so I had taken a screenshot and just made some notes so just to remember that it was a cute little thing to do and then over here um, just recorded that I'd been at the farmers market that day and um, here at the farmers market I had got this gorgeous head of lettuce that was just huge and I put it in a big bowl and used it almost like flowers on my side table for a couple days it stayed nice and crisp so that's the kind of things you can put into, you wouldn't do a regular scrapbook page on something like that, but in Project Life it's the perfect way to record those things. And uh, again, one of those little everyday moments where Spencer, here he is, he gets inside of this box that I had gotten delivered. And um, this is just Super Bowl stuff. And Prince, I love Prince, so he was um, on after the Super Bowl on the program New Girl. So I just snapped a picture of the television screen and printed that out. And down here, just some more things from Super Bowl. And 
the halftime show. And I'm sure that most of you are probably familiar with this program because it's pretty common, but if you aren't, um, there's a cute little program that I use on my iPad to do these little three pictures together, just like that, or like this one, or even two together like this. So if you're not familiar with it, I want to show it to you. So here's my iPad, and um, I keep a lot of my photography things in here. And it's called PicFrame, it looks like that. And here's one that I had started to put together just to show you, which is uh, three pictures of Spencer. So what you do is you go to your frames, and you can pick from a variety of different configurations. See that? So the one that I showed you from the halftime show was the three frames together. And then um, there's other ones where I had put uh, my husband with, with Quinn the cat watching the Super Bowl in one of the three frames. But say we go to this one. Then you can select your pictures. You can either take new pictures or select from your camera roll. And you just tap on it and select what pictures you want. And then here's the picture and you can move it around in the frame or make it bigger, however you like it. And then when you're ready to save it, you just click on the share button. And then you can either share it on different mediums like Twitter, Facebook, or email it to someone. But I just save it to my camera roll and then I have it to use in Project Life. So if you're not familiar with that, then that's a, a cute little um, one to use. The other ones I use, I really love Ro Rona Ferrer's uh, program. I'll show you that another time, but if you haven't tried that, that's great for putting um, word art and just pictures onto things for Project Life. And um, I'll show you another program I really like, with what I've done on my week five. But I'll just finish up here. This is week six. Okay, and then, I'm, I'm sorry, that was week five, and then we've got week six. So continuing on with Project Life, I have week six. And um, for week six, I've used Amy Tangerine's new um, sheer alphabet stickers. And then this was just a little cutout from a paper source magazine, which is uh, just a calendar that they have for sale. But this is just a little snippet of it. And what I did is just circle the dates for this week for Project Life. And then I glued it on this card. But I really feel like I need something else on this card. I just haven't figured out what yet. And then over here was just something personal that I covered up with a, a card. Um, just something regarding my husband's uh, work and things and so I just didn't want to include that it's bad enough he gets in on a lot of the candid shots he'd probably prefer I didn't show but uh, anyway not that interesting to you but this is just uh, just thought I'd cover that up and then here I just wanted to record something about Philip Seymour Hoffman and his passing so I wanted to slip that in there and then on Pinterest, I like to get uh, quotes off of Pinterest and print those and slip them in for things that are going on in my life. And then um, pictures, this was a great idea on Pinterest about some faux logs for a, fire for a fireplace. And uh, it just is a good way to record it and I'll use it for inspiration in the future rather than mixing it in with thousands of other pins that I might forget about. So I just wanted to print out what was inspiring me right now. And then actually this week I started getting a cold. So I recorded that here with these funny little uh, bugs. And they just come again from something I get here from Joanne's Life's Little Occasions. And these are just some little monsters. So then that has to do with this up here which is just a day that I spent relaxing a sick day that I spent with Quinn and we were just watching TV and catching up on the Carrie Diaries and uh, over here Tony brought me home a donut so I just said sprinkles make everything better so that's just a picture of my donut see when you're sick there's not a whole lot to that you're out doing so just sort of some of the everyday stuff around the house 
And this one little thing up here is just a picture of me looking down onto my lap. I'm sitting working at my desk and this is Spencer. And his new thing is now he's got to come in, he's got to sit on my lap and he's got to watch the computer. And he does that for about 10 or 15 minutes and then he hops down. But this is his, his thing that he's doing. You know how cats get in habits of doing things. So that's what he's doing. And so I just had to record that and I just said trending now because that's that's his new thing. And I wrote it with these letter stickers from Snap. I just love, love, love these stickers for Project Life. So if you're not using them, they're great. They come in all these different colors. So then over here is just my two cats lying on the sofa and I just added a little heart there. And let me come back to that one. There's another one of my recipes that I did. Although sometimes, you know, when you print out things like this, the colors look a little odd, but it really was appetizing. Then I wanted to record here about the, the Beatles and the 50-year anniversary, so I took that off of the Parade magazine from the Sunday paper. And another silly picture of Spencer. He's always getting in my bags, and this bag was inside of a box, so I said he's under double cover. It said, the boy in the bag in the box. That's what the writing says. It's very subtle because it's the white on top, but um, you can read it better in real life. And then this is just something about the Carrie Diaries, a series finale, and this was the last scene. So uh, I really enjoyed that program, and I caught up on it while I was sick. And unfortunately, it's not coming back, but that's about Carrie Bradshaw before the Sex and the City days. They did a little prequel series. If you haven't seen it, it's really cute. I think it ran two years. And anyway, let me back up over here. This is a really fun um, program that I like using for capturing the weather. And um, if you haven't seen that, I'll, I'll show you. It looks like this. It's, a, it's called InstaWeather. And um, what you do is um, you, it br brings it up and then you can take a picture of what your weather is like right now or wherever you are. If you're at the beach or you're out at a skiing, a snow or it's really pretty snow scene, you can take a picture and then you can add, um, it'll, it pulls in your weather. So there are different skins to choose from. So if you go here, say you're on vacation and you choose the vacation skins. So it'll tell me right now, you can see my camera reflected there, but anyway, you can see the temperature. Today is Thursday. The temperature is 71. I'm in Irvine. If I don't like that, I can pick another skin. Vacation time. And you just, and, and see this is um, where my family is, is in Canada, so I like to compare what the weather is here and what it is there. But say you're on vacation, you can do where you're at on vacation and then what it's like at home. And um, anyway, so those are fun. And then they have some other ones. And you can also tap on it here and say, I am here. And you can type in wherever you are. Or it pulls it from, um, from the GPS or, you know, where it pulls where you are actually from. Or it tells you um, uh, down here, like with this little geo tag, you can go like this. And it'll tell you, you know, different areas that are around you. So that's just a fun one for scrapbooking. I, I really love that for the project life and I use it a lot. But I have an older iPhone and I find that it really, um, it crashes my older iPhone. So it works on my iPad good. So you can use it, take a picture or you can use a picture that's on your camera roll also. So um, I just find that I, when I'm out sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't with my uh, iPhone. Anyway, that's just uh, fun. I've got lots of those that I've used in some future uh, weeks on my project life, so I'll, I'll share those with you. But that's just another little program you can get. And I also sh shared along with that uh, something on week five. So thanks for checking in. Bye now.